Welcome back, everybody, to Violating, Violating Community, Community Guidelines. Guidelines. Together, holding hands. We are holding feet and hands. <laughs> <laughs> Intertwined in all senses of the word. Mm -hmm. Today, what are we talking about, Bestie? We're talking about fan fiction um, and where it originated from, what it is, and Brittany is an expert in fan fiction, right? I have read many a fan fiction and written, <laughs> ro wrote yes. many Wr fan fiction <laughs> in my life. I've written a fair amount of, uh, I guess you could call it Chris Angel fan fiction. You wrote it? Yeah, it's just sex dreams between me and Chris Ooh. Angel. I had a sex dream about Dr. Phil one time. Really? I don't want to disclose. You should, why would you mention it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling really pressured in this moment. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> um, all right, yeah, so fan fiction. Listen, this is one of the things I've been waiting for. One of the absolute pillars of growing up online. Uh -huh. To me, because I know we had different experiences, I have always been a part of stan culture. And with stan culture, no matter what it is, people are fantasizing about those characters. Whether yeah. they're real people, made up, animated, it doesn't matter. And one of the ways that I guess the human psyche says to show how much you love that person is to fantasize you in a situation with them or them with another person. Yeah. And the earliest I remember seeing about this um, was probably the Harry Potter characters. Yeah. Everyone's seen them sucking and fucking each other for fun. <laughs> but where it really got like, okay, if anyone remembers the Tumblr era of like 2012 to 2015. Mm -hmm. This was, if you weren't on Tumblr in that era, it determines whether or not you have severe issues today. Yeah. In that time period, it was like Sherlock, the TV show with Benedict Cumberbatch was yeah. popular, um, uh, Supernatural, and what was the third one? Doctor Who. Okay. And if you were part of the trifecta, it was called Super Who Lock. <laughs> and that could be a triggering term for a lot of people <laughs> listening. So if you felt triggered by that, I am sorry. I was on Tumblr during this period. Yeah. I have seen... The worst of the worst when it comes to fan fiction. Those mm -hmm. poor, poor white men. <laughs> Thankfully, I've, I was not on Tumblr during that time. I mean, like, for uh, like work, I used to write for, like, brands on Tumblr, but I was never mm -hmm. actually immersed in Tumblr stuff. Where were you from on January 6th? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> from Wait, is that a One Direction thing? <laughs> no, it's oh. the insurrection at the Capitol. <laughs> oh, I thought it was the day that One Direction broke up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too. On um, it, it, from twenty twelve to twenty fifteen, where were you online? I was on Twitter. Yeah, you've yeah. always been a little little Twitter beast. Yeah, I just I uh, I I don't know. Twitter's just like it's like old faithful, you know. It is. And Tumblr was too hard to navigate. Like, what is the reblogging thing? I literally it's a retweet. I did it. No, I know I did it like professionally, <laughs> but I still didn't like understand it. I was just like post and go. No, you know? that's me on Reddit. I'm like I'm acting like I know what's going on, but I have no <laughs> fucking idea what an upvote is. <laughs> but um, okay, yeah. So Tumblr was. It, it was the segue into what we see today mm -hmm. with Twitter, like stands on Twitter. Yeah. Um, that tenacious out for blood mentality yeah. started on Tumblr. Or the so, only time I've ever been doxxed is I think a couple, of years, a couple of years ago, I insulted Shawn Mendez's haircut or something. And then people like number one no no sent mail to my work. Holy <laughs> shit! Like how they hated me. I was like, it was Sean Mendez. <laughs> Doesn't and matter. I didn't. I didn't even say anything like bad, bad. You know. And so yeah, they're they're uh, very scary. We should do an episode on stands on Sean Mendez. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Mendez. <laughs> oh, I would love to do one on stand culture. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. So anyway, all that to say, um, fan fiction is what it sounds like. It is literature it's novels sometimes mm -hmm. um screenplays <laughs> written by fans it's usually about um characters in a book characters in a tv show in a movie or um sometimes they create their own yeah and they and they weave in canonical characters which mm -hmm. canon is oh my god this is all <laughs> very triggering yes canon means written by the original author uh -huh. so let's dan Harmon invented rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty. If I write a fan fiction about me and Rick Sanchez, that's not canon. Okay. So I understand. Yes, that makes sense. Um, so is there any like ethical dilemmas with fan fiction? Oh, yeah. Because I, I um, when I got like 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, I wanted to pay people to write fan fiction about me and Ooh. like make it weird. Yeah. And so like a couple of like the writers on like Fiverr and stuff were like, we can't, I don't feel comfortable writing about a real person. And I was like, Oh, like, is that, like, a weird thing to write? I mean, I guess, like, I heard about, like, Larry or something like that, or... Yeah. 
Yeah, Larry Stylinson was, um, people took this friendship between Harry Styles and Louis Tomlinson to this level that is like actually delusional and invasive and like very uncomfortable. Yeah. And that like <laughs> fan fictions from that time, they were like <laughs> some of the most gory, brutal <laughs> sex fantasies I've ever fucking read in my whole life. But you raise a good point of like, oh my God. So for example, I could talk about this for so long. There was a fan fiction um, on Wattpad, which yeah. is one of the platforms named After, which was about Harry Styles. This author, her name's Anna Todd, wrote this about this like dark, you know, uh, uh, tattooed Harry, like this yeah. dark brooding whatever. This got so many reads. It's like 50, 60 million. Oh I think God. it's like 100 million at this point. Got made into a movie franchise. Oh my God. After and then After We Collided is the sequel. She changed the name for the movie. Literally like millions of dollars that this woman made. Yeah. It's a rumor that Harry had a, a, a restraining order against her. Oh, wow. But this movie is like popular. Yeah. So to your question of like, is it ethical? No. This was about a real person. <laughs> yeah. They changed it from Harry to Harden. Uh-huh. Oh. Harden Styles or something <laughs> like that. And it's just like, I, at what point is it like, enough? Yeah. <laughs> enough! <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I think, like, I don't mind fan fiction. I guess, like, if I were to think about fan fiction about myself, I wouldn't mind. But then, it like, it had to be well written. But you can't, like, right. choose that. A fan fiction is not, like, you know, I don't know. I, I was going to say Oscar winning. But it's not, like, no, award honestly. winning. Like, writing. So I just, I would want it to be, like, flattering. Yeah. You know, like, the way they describe me. You're like, describe me <laughs> in a flattering way. Oh. I was going to read, like, the origins of fan fiction. Because I did see, like, a TikTok the other day. It was It, like, started with, like, Star Trek. Right? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of the modern version of, of fan fiction for sure. Trekkies. It says like the history in the late 19th, early 20th century, fans of Sherlock Holmes series began to write stories using. But do you think that they submitted those to newspapers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering where. Like, it's What like, was the Tumblr of the 1980s? Well, it's probably like, I mean, imagine, what's that song? It's like, you know, I hate pina coladas. I like pina coladas getting caught in the rain. Yeah. That's like an ad in the newspaper. Shrek wrote that, by the way. <laughs> so I, I imagine beneath the fold is, you know, Sherlock Holmes fan fiction. Mm -hmm. Some old woman is taking it as news. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, they did what? <laughs> they fucked where? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. This is global news. <laughs> but it says in 1983, they wrote this story. So how did they disperse this media? I'm and like, imagining like... Was it Martin Luther who nailed the 12 whatever <laughs> on the like wooden door at the church? That's like me with Star Trek fan fiction. Right beneath the letter to the church is just some tricky <laughs> fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, yeah. And then it says like in 1983, they started to use the term canon with like Sherlock Holmes and mm -hmm. stuff. And then Jane Austen's novels, Pride and Prejudice, Emma and Sense and Sensibility. Listen, Mr. Darcy, Pride and Prejudice. Yeah. Hot. Well, I've only seen the movie from like 2004. Yeah, hot. Is that Kira Knightley? Yeah. Kira Knightley. Yeah. Um, she, does, she does talk like this. Yeah. With her chin out. <laughs> I love her. I do too. But then it says, oh, sorry, going back to the Star Trek, because um, everyone loves Star Trek. Actually, do they? I, well, I mean, I don't want to speak for everyone, but I'm just, <laughs> some Trekkies are like, wow. <laughs> they took it there. The erasure happening in this <laughs> podcast. Um, zines. There's like this term called zines, most or commonly. Zines. Zines. Because of magazines. Oh, shh. Slay. Oh my gosh. Most commonly a small circulation publication of original. Oh yeah, so it did make sense. Like it's like fan fiction magazines. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I was trying to like figure out how this came to That makes more sense than nailing it to a church wall. Yeah. I'll admit. <laughs> it's you're nailing a magazine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paper macheing my fan fiction onto the stone of the church. Um, so there's also like a breakdown of demographics or a research assistant was very thorough. 50% mm -hmm. um, are female or femme leaning and then 13.4% are masculine. 11% are don't uh, disclose that they are transgender and then 3.9% are agender. That is very, very thorough. It is. They, who did they, uh, I wonder how many people they surveyed. And, and how many people are honest. <laughs> I am a straight 37 year old man <laughs> reading Star Trek fan fiction. <laughs> and yes, I will admit that. Like, no. Wait, no, they, they surveyed um, Harry Potter fan fiction writers. Ooh. So it's fan fiction writers of, I mean, yeah, I would I would lie if like I was embarrassed that I'm writing fan fiction. Yeah. I'm actually the CEO at Google. <laughs> 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 but I'm just going to say I'm Beth from Oklahoma. Yes. Yeah. 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 And I'm also <laughs> just like, I don't. Okay. So what's interesting, well, not really surprising, but interesting is that a lot of 
The authors are um, university students. These yeah. are college age, college educated yes. people of all different backgrounds. <laughs> but it like makes me think like they should be like studying for something or writing something else. Or they're like typing away furiously in like the library. They're just cranking out a fic. <laughs> He's like a STEM major. He's writing Harry Potter fan fiction. Ron turned to Hermione and... <laughs> <laughs> That's literally me. Did you write fan fiction in college? Fuck yeah. What'd you write? A Cole Sprouse fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what about Cole Sprouse? I wrote a Cole Sprouse fan fiction. I had just seen Saving Private Ryan for the first time. Is Cole Sprouse in, in Saving Private Ryan? Fuck no. He should have been. What's it like Big Daddy? <laughs> Adam Sandler is in yeah, Saving I, 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 Next is my Adam Sandler fan fiction, a grown-ups fan fiction. <laughs> yes. It's like Kevin James, Chris Rock. Um, I wrote a, I had just seen Saving Private Ryan, and I had this like military fantasy in my head, and I wrote Cole Sprouse as a veteran. <laughs> it's not one of my prouder moments. Okay, Saving Private Ryan is where they look for Private Ryan, right? Yeah, he, they lost him. <laughs> <laughs> so is Cole... Private Ryan, or is Cole just a veteran in the? Cole had been in the uh, in the war. <laughs> what war? Don't ask. That's private information. And he had come home, and I wrote this story about a woman. Cole's <laughs> 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 whatever, guys. And he came home, and he had PTSD. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, if you guys could tweet Cole Sprouse and tell him that, um, thank you for his service, <laughs> and that healing is possible. Yeah. Yeah. That is that is really crazy that you would give him such traumatic. Um, yeah, brain. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's just... a type of fan fiction that I had no idea I was fitting into a statistic. Wait, yeah, like where you like write someone is like sick or like dies. Yes. Yeah, it's like a hurt comfort fan fiction. Like you oh. usually, it's well, this there's this phenomenon called like your name. Yeah, they'll, they'll literally write it and being like, Harry turned to Y slash N and said, and you're supposed to put. Yeah, Sarah, you know, Brittany, whatever. Wait, but do you like do you do you enter your name in at the top and then it fills it in on the page? No, you gotta do it in your head. Why? Oh, that seems like uh, I feel like someone should come up with that technology. Yeah, I'm like, your name is a hot bitch. I'm like, oh, that's me. <laughs> Pussy Slayer 420. <laughs> it's a really beautiful name. Yeah, is that a family name? <laughs> it's actually my grandmother's middle name. And uh, <laughs> we dropped the O in front of it because we Americanized our Irish name. Oh, oh pussy. Oh, pussy. <laughs> Mick pussy. <laughs> Did you know that like, is it like Mick? Doesn't that mean like the bastard son of? So like. I thought it was uh, meant, meant you were part of the Ronald McDonald family. <laughs> You're an employee. You are an employee. <laughs> It does that. Is that what it means? You're yeah, a bastard I, I child? Yeah. Bastard son of is like the preface and like. Um, it's what like does- Mick. What is that called? MC. What does Mick mean in names? <laughs> in Irish names. Oh my God, you're so right. Yeah. So it's like your son of. The illegitimate, I guess, son. So if you have like a Mick in your family. Yeah. To the name of the original bearer's father. The surname MacDougall literally means son of Duggle. <laughs> <laughs> if your last name's Duggle. Dougal. Make it not be. I thought it was Dougal. Dougal? Or Douglas? That's even worse. <laughs> McDougal? <laughs> Sorry. I just like... Someone with your last name McDougal is like, this is my fucking nightmare. Like, what the fuck, you guys? <laughs> it's a family name. I can't change it. <laughs> we'll change it. <laughs> um, so there are... Uh, you were talking about the genres of um, fan fiction. Yeah. There's one that says alternative universe. Oh, uh, yeah. What is that? Like, just like... An AU is like... It's like the Harry Potter characters, but in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Or it's like Sherlock, but in the modern day. It's like you keep the kind of same dynamic and timeline, but it's in a different <laughs> universe. I was thinking of like Shrek in Lord of the Rings. They would just kill him. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Yes. He's an orc. Or would they fit him in? I... He would become part of the squad. Yes. He takes over for Gimli. <laughs> <laughs> Shrek and Legolas fight <laughs> and then I'd pay to see that make love. Um, yeah, there's cross. Love. How is wait is crossover the same thing? Crossover is like Jimmy Neutron and uh, <laughs> what was that? Fairly Odd Parents. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So it's like this. So, yeah. Wait. So then, alternative universe is just like Shrek in the you know Lord of the Rings universe. They don't mention any of the Lord of the Rings character. It's only about Shrek now. Yeah. Okay. A crossover would be you're combining different characters from different uh, yeah uh, novels or whatever. 
Okay. And so then there's soulmates, a genre that envisions characters in a world often very similar to canon where soulmates are demonstrably real. Mm -hmm. Common mechanics for soulmates include each person having the name of their soulmate written on their skin at birth. (laughs) Have you seen this shit on TikTok? No. (laughs) (laughs) Those dramatic like 18 year olds, like first of all, you're too old. Second of all, they'll be like... POV, you have 17 days to find your soulmate that has your same marking on your wrist. And I'm like, you have so much schoolwork to be doing right yeah. now. And you're making this TikTok like in your parents' bathroom. But the thing is, is it like their full name? Like, would it be their last name as well? Sometimes it's a number. Okay, but I imagine like finding a John yeah. wouldn't be that hard. Yeah, or it's a symbol. It's just like a penis. Yeah. You like a dick on my wrist? Are you kidding? God's just like laughing at you in heaven. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Good luck finding dick in this town. <laughs> Why is the nut sack so hairy? <laughs> Sir, pull down your pants. <laughs> um, a common trope in this genre uh, is a, one character being convinced they don't have one deserve a soulmate. Ooh, broken. <laughs> They're depressed. Yes. Only to be proven wrong as they fall in love um, over the course of the fic. Um, the impact this has had on TikTok. That's yeah. a funny note. Literally. Okay, so um, fuck, what was I just going to say? You know what a great trope is? Is enemies to lovers. Yeah. Chris Angel. <laughs> who's, who's his enemy? <laughs> Just the common man. <laughs> I'm sure Chris Angel's made a couple enemies. He's probably like freaked out a lot of people. I, I used to watch a lot of his stuff, but I wouldn't say that anyone like, no one really hates Chris Angel. No. It's like, I mean, he's like, um, like Bobby Flay. Well, yeah. no, he's very hateable. Um, is he? Uh, what well, Guy Fieri? It's like saying you hate Guy Fieri. Sure. Like no one really hates him. Pitbull. <laughs> I think a lot of people. People hate Pitbull. <laughs> Some people probably. What do Pitbull do? Mr. Mo- I don't know. He's worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> but who would be Pitbull's enemy? Mm, who's another bald man? <laughs> Mr. Clean. <gasps> They're fighting to the death. Yes. Oh my god. So they would be enemies to lovers. They would. <laughs> I would write that fan fiction. And then their heads combined just to make one big bald head. <laughs> they, ba- they blind each other <laughs> from the sheen off their bald heads and then they fall in love. Hello everybody, it's me, Brittany Broski, coming to you for a quick second to tell you about my new favourite game. So, you know, like when you play those match three games where you need to like match them all together and they go away and, you know, whatever, you have so many moves... I love those games, but it feels like a lot of them are the same. You know, it's the same themes and characters. Like, it's the same boring format. But let me tell you about this really quick. There's this new game called Switchcraft, and it is a new take on the original, like, Match 3 style games. As you play, you unlock pieces of this beautiful, magical, like, young adult fictional novel. It's tea. It's like a blend of TV writing With a little bit of choose your own adventure, it's everything. So basically, not to like ruin it, no spoilers, but in Switchcraft, you take on the role of a witch at a school called Pendle Hill, the world's top academy of witchcraft. And what do you guys know about witchcraft? Along the way, it uncovers new characters, new storylines, there's a little bit of romance, and it does the thing where it ends on a cliffhanger every time. I cannot even tell you I am obsessed with this game. It is so, it's giving me my young adult fan fiction, fictional fantasy moment. It's everything. There's cliffhangers, so it keeps you wanting to come back. You have got to try it now. Now, hurry, go. It's so much fun. Download Switchcraft for free and unlock the magical mystery, okay? And then there's also like time travel um, AU. I keep thinking augmented reality when yeah. I see AU. Yeah. Um, so I, I assume that's where you go back in time or forward in time. Yeah, but- this is like they, they'll write Sherlock Holmes in the modern day. Yeah. The whole TV show, literally. <laughs> but I feel like it would really speed up like his, you know, work because all he just needs is a cell phone. Yeah, I'm like begging you to make a phone call on a mobile phone. <laughs> Sherlock. Google it. Yeah. <laughs> Stop Who's- writing in that dumbass journal. <laughs> Loser. He's actually writing fan fiction. He is. Throughout the entirety of the show. Holy shit. The fan fiction between Sherlock and John Watson is like so graphic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like hooking up, I assume. Yes. <laughs> Sucking fucking holes I've never even knew existed. It's do they, wild. Do they like pause to solve mysteries? <laughs> <laughs> You know, like when you like you're texting someone in the middle of like hooking up. Instead, they're like you know writing in their journals and yeah. like solving crime. It's like come on, that can't wait. <laughs> no. Fifteen minutes. It's about, it's about me right now. You know, like those moments on a TV show where they'll be like, 
the wall. That's it. And then they run off. And it's like, what about the wall? Just told you like that was the solution to whatever. A lot of that happened in Sherlock and Watson fan fiction. That's me whenever I watch House. Yeah. And he like solves like a med. He's like, <gasps> literally, she can't eat coconuts. And then he like hobbles off. I'm like, exactly. She can't. Yes. And <laughs> that was very clear from the beginning. I'm surprised it took him that long. She has a concussion in her knees. Stream coconuts by Competris. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't even scratch my face. Um, there's dark fic. What is that? Uh, if if all of this is already so dark. Oh yeah, you know what a dark fic. Okay, so I'll, I will I will admit, I read Mandalorian fan fiction as well. What is you know, the, the Mandalorian? Mandalorian? The Mandalorian is a character from the Star Wars universe. Okay, and the, he got his own spinoff show. Yeah, and it slays. That's where Baby Yoda's from. Okay, that show. Yes. I used to read some um, Mandalorian fan fiction, and like in this whole realm of dark fic, it literally they'd be like, he picks me up and like has sex with me and then leaves me on a planet and I never saw him again. Like, <laughs> like, that's so sad. How do they like tie Jedis in? Is it like Jedis that are having sex with you? No, there's no Jedis. No, he literally is just like a war. There's nothing special about him. He's so just like what, a is, warrior. Wait, is Mandalorian a guy? Yeah, he's a guy. Oh, Mandalorian. It sounds like a ship or like a type of no, shoe. He's the Mandalorian. It sounds like a lesbian shoe. It does. Yeah. The Mandalorian Mach 5. The Mandalorians. <laughs> the Mandalorian X Jordan X Kanye collab. Super strappy. Velcro. <laughs> Lesbians love a Velcro shoe, huh? I don't know. I was like, no. What? <laughs> Me trying to create stereotypes. I was like, I have never seen a lesbian with Velcro shoes. I mean, like. Damn, we should start it. Yeah, I, I should start it. You should. Sorry. Me inserting myself. <laughs> <laughs> Me writing a fan fiction about you wearing Velcro shoes. They're called Mandalorians. Okay, so that means dark fiction. And I assume it just has to be super, super, super dark. Because, I mean, yeah, that, there's like, no happy ending. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wait, so it's just the lack of a happy ending. Yeah, it's just, like, super dark. I thought it's, like, you know, like, you skin baby Yoda alive. Well, see, yeah. <laughs> that would be, uh, what's the word? Thrasher. Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> that actually goes along with the original plot, yeah. <laughs> they track out, like, the Star Wars, like, plot, and yeah. baby Yoda gets skin alive. Yeah. Did you know, fun fact, that if you survive being skinned alive, you'll most likely die of hypothermia? Yeah, because my skin blanket's gone. <laughs> it's gone forever. You took off my hair layer. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, my human my hair. hair. <laughs> no, give it back. My peach fuzz. <laughs> the thought of being skinned alive and saying, no, give it back. <laughs> Come on. Guys, that was mine. <laughs> they like throw it over you and you're like jumping up and down between like two bullies trying to get your skin. <laughs> Guys, this isn't funny. <laughs> my mom gave me that. <laughs> my mom made that for me. <laughs> Come on. It has my lover's name on it. Oh, it's got a big sloppy dick on the left wrist. <laughs> There's also more categories. Fluff. What is fluff? Just feel good. Yeah, fluff is like if it's a really sad like storyline in general or just whatever and you just want to make it happier. Yeah. That's what, yeah, you just make it happy. Yeah. You want to know something too about Wattpad and an another platform is called AO3, Archive of Our Own. Yeah. That's for like the 20 to 35 year olds that are serious you really buckle down you buckle down <laughs> it's like i learned so much about sex from fan fiction and that's not a joke really like the anatomical <laughs> correct like <laughs> how sex works i learned from fan fiction yeah more so than porn ever because okay. porn isn't accurate it's kind of violent it is <laughs> yes. fan fiction i was like i didn't know i had inner walls that could clutch onto something yes. i literally learned so much um a lot of the stuff on wattpad is written by children okay. like teenagers middle schoolers so it'll be like he took a long breathe yeah and and said and it's like <laughs> so grammatically incorrect and just the <laughs> vocabulary is terrible and then when you get into ao3 and like these kind of more serious or tumblr fan fiction holy fuck yeah it's like i didn't even know i'm like on dictionary.com looking up what these words mean like it is beautifully written fiction i just imagine like wattpad is like his fingers glide over my epiglottis <laughs> it's like what is that <laughs> What are you talking about? I, and then, like on Wattpad, it's like, and he kissed my pussy, and I'm like, you're 11, you're 11, you you want to know what sex is so bad? He Frenched my asshole. He did. There's also hurt and comfort. It's just you. I bet you're being hurt and then yeah. comforted. Yeah, that's literally me with Cole Sprouse. I was like, I will fix you. It's okay. Self insert. I imagine this is all self-insert. Yeah, self-insert is is your name. Oh, because people write a fan like a fiction about like the Mandalorian and like Stacy. Yeah, 
and then you kind of live vicariously through Stacy versus a self insert is more like it, it's a your name fan fiction. Okay. Um, song fiction. Oh my god! Features a fictional work in, interspe, inter, interspersed with the lyrics of a relevant song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like I love you, Sarah Shower, <laughs> baby. baby. <laughs> no, that would be like they write it about like Sarah Smile it, oh, by yeah. Hollow Notes would be yeah. the song, and then it's like, and then I said to her, Sarah Smile. <laughs> well, I mean that actually that song is like what my dad plays when I'm sad. Oh, so I love that song. That is my song. Oh. Thank you. I can't believe it was written about you <laughs> in the 70s. I'm so old. <laughs> and then there's Vent and a lot more. That is so crazy. I mean, I guess like every type of literature has like different categories like sci-fi yeah. and stuff like that. There used to be um, One Direction one shots. You know what a one shot is? Um, Like with the camera? No. A one shot is uh, it's like a hundred words or something okay. like that. It's just like a quick little imagine. Like yeah. imagine you and Liam or whatever. And there were like joke ones that went viral on Tumblr and Twitter way back when. And it was like, imagine uh, you need a kidney transplant and Niall is missing and you wake up from the surgery and Niall is dead. And there's a note that says, who do you think gave you the kidney? It's like, who the fuck is sitting down writing this? <laughs> Niall is missing. You wake up. Who do you think gave you the pussy? <laughs> <laughs> gave you your top transplant. Oh my God. Literally like. There were so many of those, and then they just got stupid. It's uh-huh. like, Niall is the worm that lives in your ear. <laughs> he is your pet. You yeah. love him. It's like, what are we doing, guys? It's just like fan fiction about how you have worms. Yeah. <laughs> A tapeworm named Niall Horan. <laughs> it's your pet. <laughs> stupid. Do you have any pets in the house? It's a tapeworm <laughs> named Niall Horan. <laughs> He's with me always. <laughs> You have to pay a pet deposit for your tapeworm. (laughs) (laughs) There's something so funny about naming a pet a full human name. Yeah. I like um, naming birds dog names. Mm. Like a bird named Matilda. (laughs) Matilda? (laughs) Like a a goose named Matilda. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, or like a chicken named Elizabeth. Yeah. (laughs) Um, If you name Dopey Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh, that's just Dwayne the Rock Johnson. You have to say it with a full name every time. Dwayne the Rock Johnson is here? Yeah. Come in. Yeah, he's in my bedroom. <laughs> um, so I'm also looking over this list. Have you heard of Yuletide? Uh, no. It says it's a fan fiction gift exchange. I have not heard of that. <laughs> you just send each other horribly written essays. Yeah. Just... You get to know your friend's horniest thoughts. <sighs> <laughs> what could be a fan fiction gift exchange? I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, I assume it's like based around like it's like themed like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings. And you sent like scarves or something. Sure. Yeah. I get that. A lock of Niall's hair. Right. <laughs> I bought this on eBay and I'm gifting it to you. My mom rushed the stage. <laughs> um, there's notable works. You did say, um, what was it called? After. After. Do you want to read some of it? Not really. You you want to know? Okay, well, I was going to ruin it. I was going to ruin the plot. Do it. Should I? Spoilers. All right, spoilers. If you don't want to hear the spoilers of After, fast forward. Um, The whole kicker of After is... It's a joke, like it's a prank. Yeah. All of Harry's friends said, um, I bet you can't take her virginity. And he was like, challenge accepted. He didn't even like her at first. It was like a game. And then he fucks her and keeps the bloody sheets and shows his friends. Oh. And they fall in love through the whole process. And then she finds the sheets. Yeah. And she's like, what the fuck? And sh- he's like, no. And it's too it's late. It's not like that. It's not like that. And then, of course, she goes back to him because manipulation. Yeah. But it's like a fucked up plot. Why would that was made into a movie? A movie, <laughs> a movie. And you're telling me that has a a thirteen percent on Rotten Tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! That is so gross. Who wrote this? Was like this an adult? Yeah, she was an adult at the time. <laughs> Anna Todd is her name. Oh, I thought she's. I thought she was a Todd. I was like a Todd. What? <laughs> Anna a toddler. Tessa Young is an eighteen year old college student with a simple life, excellent grades, and a sweet boyfriend. Oh, so yeah, this is. <sighs> And then she leaves her boyfriend for Harden. Harden Styles. Harden Styles. Publishing. After changing the characters' names. Are you do you think that Harry Styles has seen that? I like there's no way he didn't. Like <laughs> I'm sure he has a restraining order against her. Yeah. That is literally at what point like if imagine being this teeny bopper, like object of affection for yeah. so many young pubescent women. Yeah. To have that shit written about you is so probably objectifying and demeaning. Like, I, I know. Yeah, and have, like, 
like be portrayed so negatively like you yeah. took someone's virginity and then like kept the sheets which is a biohazard i think it definitely yeah I'm like, that's not safe in covid toms <laughs> or any toms do not use it to cover your mouth do not <laughs> making a mask out of sorry <laughs> all right <laughs> sorry these are my after sheets yeah <clears throat> there's also other notable works like agony and pink um, a story featuring several characters from the television sh- series Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that became notorious for its detailed, oh, bad scene yeah. and torture. Oh, so we don't want to read this. No. Um, and then Skipping. there's My Immortal, known as the worst fan fiction ever due to its absurd storyline and spelling grammar errors. This was a meme for a while. Okay. If you want to go watch it on YouTube, just look up <laughs> My Immortal fan fiction. It's so fucking stupid. It says it's, it was intended as Harry Potter fan fiction. It heavily incorporated references to the bands My Chemical Romance and Evanescence, often depicting the young wizards as gothic. Are yeah. they not gothic? I don't know. That church is very, very gothic. Or yeah. am I like, am I out of it? Like, is that like art, an art thing? Who is the church like gothic style? Because isn't that like an art? Subject? You mean like the architecture? Yeah, yeah, okay. like a gothic cathedral. I don't know why it's so defensive. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm is, is, the, is the church in Harry Potter like gothic? Because I thought it was. <laughs> we are going to read some one shots. Yeah, some uh, Harry Potter imagines. Okay. Some short little funsies. To get yourself in the mood, imagine that you're on in Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. You're your own character. You're a wizard. You're in a long cape. Mm-hmm. And cloak. Robes. Yes. Yeah. Robes. You have a tie. And what what Harry Potter house are you? Um, I would like to think I'm Ravenclaw, but everyone says that I'm Hufflepuff. I say Hufflepuff for me. You're Raven. No, I think you're Ravenclaw. You think I'm more smart than weird? You're very smart. Oh, I always thought that the Hufflepuffs were like gay weird kids. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Art kids that run in the hallway. <laughs> They're cloaked just like... Yeah, Naruto running. <laughs> yes. All right, so this is an Imagine um, off of Google. Um, imagine you're sitting on your house table with some of your friends having breakfast, like always. Uh-huh. You feel observed, but it always happens to you on the Great Hall. What you didn't know is that someone is always looking at you. You didn't until now. It's Hagrid. <laughs> it's George. <laughs> <laughs> you just have like a sty. <laughs> There's toilet paper on your shoe. <laughs> Got a big fucking zit in the middle of your eyes. I'm like, God damn, she's ugly. <laughs> um, so there's another one. Do you have any that you like to read? Yeah, I have one. Okay. Imagine. Draco freezing up in the hallway when he sees you, stuttering as he tries to talk to you because he has a huge crush on you. Oh, Isn't that cute? Draco uh, Malfoy fanfiction, by the way. Sick. Huge. Everywhere. Really? At Draco, it started on TikTok. Well, it had a resurgence on TikTok because it was huge on Tumblr too. Yeah. People fucking gag for Draco Malfoy. Is Draco Malfoy hot? To me, no. <laughs> I I don't I just genuinely don't know if like people find him attractive. Apparently, yeah. I do. thought the the gingers were cute. All the all the redheads. What's yeah. that family the called? The Weasleys. Yeah. It's the main group of redheads. Yeah. <laughs> Agrid the redhead. <laughs> Let's do another imagine. Um, imagine the Yule Ball will be next week, and you still don't have a partner. <gasps> oh my god. Even though two people asked you out, you rejected them both. You are waiting for someone to ask you because you aren't brave enough to ask him out. What you don't know is that he's been staring at you while you studied at the library. Oh my god. It's fucking George. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it really? Yeah, it's George. Oh my god, a George Weasley fan fiction. Who would have you like gone to the Yule Ball with? Do you even care much about Harry Potter? I'm trying to I have not seen Harry Potter in so long. Mm-hmm. I, I would have gone with who's fun. I would have gone with that really tall woman who was like queen of the Bobatons or whatever. Oh yeah, the one that like def- I imagine her and Hagrid having sex. Now that is fan fiction. I'd love to read. Yeah, you should write it. <laughs> it's thunderous. No one knows about it other than you. <laughs> <laughs> thunderous. Yes. Oh my god! Actually, I'm gonna write that when I get home. <laughs> hey, we gotta wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> you hear like furious clicking, and it's only Brittany for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm very busy. <laughs> All right, so let's... Did you want to read some of My Immortal? It's 22 chapters! Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, but they're so bad. All right, so My Immortal, once again, is Harry Potter fan fiction. Mixed that, with... My Chemical Romance and slay. Evanescence. <laughs> Trisha Paytas core. <laughs> <laughs> is Trisha Paytas in Harry Written Potter? by... Tr- <laughs> what is it? Blonde Sun Doll? <laughs> yes. 34? What's her... <laughs> a blonde sundial, yeah, yeah. Okay, so chapter one. 
Um, oh, fuck. This is so long. No. No, it's not that bad. I hate this. Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven. Wait. <laughs> is that her address? <laughs> And I have a lo- I have long ebony black hair. That's how I got my name. Uh, with purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid back and icy blue eyes, like limpid tears. And a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. The way that that is all one sentence. <laughs> There's no commas. There um, is no punctuation in this paragraph. I'm not related to Jared Jared Way, but I wish I was because he's a fucking major hottie. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin. I'm also a witch, and Ooh. I have to go to a magic school called Hogwarts <laughs> in England. In England. <laughs> where yes. I'm, where in my, I'm in my seventh year, parentheses, I'm 17. Slay. I'm a goth, Slay. in case you couldn't tell, and I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic, and I buy all my clothes they from there. Hot Topic at Hogwarts? <laughs> Ho- it's hog like, topic. Hog topic. <laughs> <laughs> and I buy all my clothes from there. For example, today I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around Ooh. it and a black leather mini skirt, pink fishnets, and black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, white foundation, black Work. eyeliner, and red eyeshadow. Oh my god, she is a vampire. <laughs> she is. At Hogwarts? I bet people are looking at her crazy. Yeah, you know, like how they judge the divination teacher. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, like it's kind of crazy how they can do magic, but like as soon as someone sees into the future, they're like, this fucking weirdo. They're like, you're lying and you're weird. <laughs> That's <laughs> you can see into the future. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So um, she's also a vampire. Um, I was walking outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which mm-hmm. I was very happy about. A lot of preps stared at me. I put my middle finger up at them. <gasps> Slay. <laughs> Flipped oh them god. off. Oh, my God. Hey, Ebony, shouted a voice. I looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. Yes. What's up, Draco, I asked. Nothing, he said shyly. But then I heard my friends call me, and I had to go away. It's just, like, the most terrible writing yeah. you can ever imagine. <laughs> the, the middle where she's, like, describing herself. She's like, I'm a vampire. <laughs> like, there's so many periods, but the first sentence is just so... There's no commas, and it's just, like, five lines long. I love it. I like how before she described her, like, physical appearance, she's not... I'm. She's like, I'm not related to Jared Way or yeah. whatever. Like, Gerard. Is it Gerard? Gerard, Gerard yeah. Jesus, someone's gonna roast me. Oh, alive. they're coming for you later. I just—is that my chemical rom- romance? Um, yeah. What was that one band with the really long titles, like Fall Out Boy? <laughs> Panic at the Disco. Oh yeah, like my cat can't come in, so I closed the back door and it got hot. That's good. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I think they're touring actually. Panic at the Disco. <laughs> no, my cat got oh. locked in the back door. <laughs> They're at Warp Tour. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Star's there. <laughs> All right, here's progress. here's the next chapter. Okay. The next day I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again. I opened the door of my coffin <laughs> and drank some blood from a bottle I had. My coffin was black ebony and inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. There's Slay. velvet? Oh, I thought it said never mind, keep going. I got out of my coffin and took off my giant MCR t-shirt, which I use for pajamas. Instead, I put on a black leather dress, a pentagram necklace, combat boots, and black fishnets. I put on four pairs of earrings in my pierced ears and put my hair in a kind of messy bun. (laughs) (laughs) My friend Willow woke woke up then and grinned at me. She flipped her long, waist-length raven black hair with pink streaks and opened her forest green eyes. I mean, it's like literally... She smiled at you before she opened her eyes? (laughs) (laughs) She turns... She put on her Marilyn Manson t-shirt with a black mini, fishnets, and pointy high-heeled boots. We put on our makeup, parentheses, black lipstick, white foundation, and black eyeliner, in case you forgot from the previous chapter. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh my fucking god, I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday, she said excitedly. Yeah, so, I said blushing. Do you like Draco, she asked as we went out of the Slytherin common room into the Great Hall. She's a Slytherin. She is. No, I so fucking don't, I shouted. Yeah, right, she exclaimed. Just then, Draco walked up to me. (laughs) Hi, he said. Hi, I replied flirtily. (laughs) Hi. (laughs) Hello. Hi. (laughs) Guess what? Salute. (laughs) I salute Draco Malfoy in the common hall. <laughs> salute him. <laughs> I salute flirtily. <laughs> I stand at attention before Draco Malfoy flirtily. <laughs> Guess what, he said. What, I asked. Well, good Charlotte are having a concert <laughs> in Hogsmeade. <laughs> (laughs) 
<laughs> oh my fucking god i screamed i love gc they're my favorite band besides mcr yeah well do you want to go with me he asked i guess <gasps> chapter three <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this is honestly like this is the epitome of create your own world yeah this was her world <laughs> i don't think she edited this at all it's just like no. free thought yeah just completely but i want to keep reading though it's so, kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, it is actually kind of kind of enjoyable. Um, so chapter three, on the night of the concert, I put on my black lace of boots with high heels. Ooh. <laughs> Underneath them were ripped red fishnets. Then I put on a black leather mini dress with all this corf- corset stuff on the back and front. With all this corset <laughs> stuff on the back and front? Imagine. <laughs> it's a corset. If J.K. Rowling wrote like this. <laughs> And then I put on like my Converse while I brought with like some lace flannels, kind of count. Harry did a spell or something. Yeah, he just like f- fucking dead out. <laughs> yeah. I put on matching fishnets on my arms. I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I. Oh my god. Um. So she self harms. <laughs> what is up with that? Okay. That was out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> that was, I feel whiplash. She, she's about to have the best night of her life. Fuck! Shit! <laughs> Fuck off. I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop. Oh my god! And I gosh. listened to some uh, GC. I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. Then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. I drank some human blood so I was ready to go to the concert. <laughs> she's pre-gaming. I... <laughs> I went outside. Draco was wearing, uh, was waiting there in his front of his flying car. He was wearing a simple plain T-shirt. Simple plan. Simple, simple plan. <laughs> simple plan T-shirt. They would play at the show too. Oh, work. <laughs> Baggy black skater pants, black nail polish, and a little eyeliner. Hi, Draco. I said in a depressed voice. There's an Hi, exclamation Draco. point. <laughs> Hi, Draco. <laughs> Hi, Draco. Hi, Draco. I yelled depressedly. <laughs> Hi, Ebony, he said back. We walked into his flying car. <laughs> black. We walked into his flying black Mercedes Benz. The license plate said 666. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Hogwarts become a devil satanic? Like He's a bad boy. He is. He slays. And flew to the place with the concert. And flew to the concert. And flew to the place <laughs> where like, they're the hosting concert. the concert yeah. with the band people. Or whatever. <laughs> On the way, we listened exactly excitedly to good charlotte and marilyn manson we both smoked smoked cigarettes and drugs we both smoked cigarettes and drugs i just imagine them with like weed and meth (laughs) we both smoked cigarettes and and drugs <laughs> when we got there, we both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. You come in cold. You're covered in blood. They're all so happy you've arrived. The doctor cuts your cord, hands you to your mom, and sets you free into his this life, saying, Joel, I don't own the lyrics to that song. That's a note that she read. Yeah, that, that's an author's note. <laughs> I'm supposed to read that in her voice. Yeah. I don't own the lyrics to that song. Okay. Joel is so fucking hot, I said to Draco, pointing to him as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. Suddenly, Draco looks sad. Oh, What's wrong, Aww. I asked as we moshed to the music. What's wrong? <laughs> Throwing your body around. <laughs> then I caught on. Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you, I said. Really? Aww. That's actually... Oh, my God. <laughs> really? Asked Draco sensitively, and he put his arm around me all protective. He put his arm around and me. he put his arm around me all protective. He like. was like so sweet. Really, I said. Besides, I don't even know Joel. And he's going out with Hillary fucking Duff. <laughs> I fucking hate that little bitch. I said disgustedly, thinking of her ugly blonde <gasps> face. Hillary Duff exists in the Harry Potter cinematic universe. <laughs> Holy shit. And Good Charlotte and Simple Plan and MCR. Yes. Um, that night went on. Did they actually date in real life? I think so. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, they did. Isn't she married to him? Um, is that that? Wait, wait, wait. Am I thinking about that guy who has that twin who look is looks like old? Wait, no, no. The Property Brothers. <laughs> Hillary <laughs> Duff is married to both of the Property Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> she dated, or she was. Wait, this is that pastor guy. She's married to Matthew Coma. Wait, he's a singer, songwriter, and DJ. Joel. It, 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 isn't that that pastor? Joel Osteen? No, <laughs> Joel is the lead singer of Good Charlotte, bitch. <laughs> I was thinking that Come mega on. church guy. 
is married to Hilary Duff. Joel Osteen and Hilary Duff have a beautiful family. Joel Osteen is in the Harry Potter universe. <laughs> Joel Osteen's mega church is, on, is in Hogsmeade. Um, the night uh, went on really well and I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We got GC concert tees. Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes Benz. Why did they crawl? But Draco didn't go back to Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into... The Forbidden Forest. Oh, my God. They're going to have some sex. No, she's giving, like, cliffhanger. I know. <laughs> uh, but I'm also thinking, like, I feel like a lot of the Harry Potter students probably have hooked up in the Forbidden Forest. I would think so, yeah. Yeah. That's, like, what's it called? Um, Make out cliff or whatever yeah. in, like, every teen movie. <laughs> like, fuck forest. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to read chapter four? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think en- enough is enough. Um... I think that it's an interesting thing. I mean, like, that's hilarious, yeah. obviously. But it's an interesting thing for the authors of the original work yeah. to see that this is the, you know, like, yeah. here is my body of work that I've spent years creating. Yeah. And this is what you bitches do with it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I imagine, like, J.K. Rowling, like, I don't know. I don't, do you think that she's seen this? Probably. Probably. <laughs> Probably. She has to know. She's like, that's a good idea. She's like, oh my God, sequel. My Chemical Romance. <laughs> I I mean, I don't think it's like that insulting. I think it's like obviously kids who just want to like, this is where they, this is what they'd like to add to the story. Mm-hmm. Is there anything that you'd like to add to like any like popular movie or like TV show? Like if you had to? My PC answer is a lot of these works need a lot more diversity in them. Yeah. Across all spectrums. Mm-hmm. Um, but personally, what well, I'm trying to think of like a story that I've... Honestly, I, I can't think of one. Wait. I wish there was more romance in the Star Wars universe. They kind of gloss over it. Well, I mean, like, wasn't there that one where like they're brother and sister? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I don't know anything about I mean, Star like, Wars. Yeah. <laughs> um, they what, like in the Star Wars universe, they'll be like, and then they got married, or like we'll see a kissing scene and that's it. Yeah, they, they keep it PG, and I'm like, I. You want penetration? I want to see something. <laughs> Show me something good. Want to see a dick come out like a <laughs> like a lightsaber? Yeah, I want to see a Jedi <laughs> dick. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I looked up like the most popular fandoms, like Game of Thrones. Did you like that? I love Game of Thrones. They're called Thronies. Oh, I'll adopt that title. Uh, I would assume like ga- wait no gamers doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thronies and gamers. Thronies, My Little Pony. That one is a sick world. Like a sick world. You want to talk about sick motherfuckers? <laughs> My Little Pony. Thronies. <laughs> yes. What do you mean you're 37 writing <laughs> fan fiction about two animated ponies? I'm trying to like. I mean, okay. I think Spirit the Horse is hot. Yeah, he's sexy. But I, I'm so I can understand how horses can be hot. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't understand. Bojack Horseman. <laughs> he's yeah. I mean, I like Will Arnett. I do too. But My Little Pony, what is the draw? Like, what about, is it just, like, the childness of, like, child? I honestly, Jish? yeah, maybe it's it's the inner child, it's age regressing, it's something like that. Yeah. Because if I think about it for too long and that isn't the answer, I'm just going to get really fucking weirded out. <laughs> what uh, if they're like, no, I just like how they're sparkly? I just, I just love how they're sparkly. <laughs> I love how they're glittery. <laughs> There's Star Wars, Doctor Who. I actually like Doctor Who a lot. Yeah? Did you watch it? Yeah. Um, I dated a guy who loved Doctor Who. And mm. so um, I watched a lot of... I love Donna Noble. And yeah. I love... Um, who was your... Do you like David Tennant? No. Doctor? I like the old one. Fuck. What's that old doctor? Peter. Everyone's name is. Oh, Peter Capaldi. Yeah. I love Peter Capaldi and Donna Noble. And everyone's like, that doesn't make any sense. But imagine them together. Have you ever seen it? Um, I watched Matt, whatever his name was. Matt. That, he was my favorite doctor. I, I just like the old one. I hated that every, I, I want the doctor and the partner, what the companion to not fuck. This is actually like a yeah. series where I'd like it if there, there's no sexual tension. You, you want an asexual fan fiction. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah. Because I'm sick of like, it's like Matt, what is his name? Matt Smith. Matt Smith and then David Tennant. It's like I, everyone like wants to fuck him. Yeah. I want the unfuckables mm. <laughs> to be navigating this universe. That's a different franchise. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a show you're about to create. That sounds like the Uncrustables. <laughs> the unfuckables. They're my fandom. <laughs> oh, the MCU fandom. That's Marvel. Do you like Marvel stuff? I love Marvel. Really? Yeah, I do. Who's your favorite? Iron Man. Iron Man. Why? I'm a Robert Downey Jr. fan. But he's not even his. He doesn't have a superpower. He's just smart. Yeah, he's just hot and rich. 
<laughs> he's rich and smart, and that's all you need in this lifetime. Batman, hot and rich. Bat, yeah, that's true. Well, Batman's not Marvel. He is. No, he's DC. <laughs> but still, this idea of like a rich billionaire superhero yeah. that you can save the world simply because you're rich. Uh huh. Wild. I'm trying to think of who I relate to the most when it comes to superheroes. I like the useless ones that you can't like take out of their specific environment, mm. like Aquaman. Mm. Take him out of the water. Yeah. I mean, it's completely useless. You bring like, him too far inland and he's just like, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, my hands are tied. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys need uh, like someone to drive the car? I got cotton mouth really bad <laughs> right here, guys. I actually can't breathe. <laughs> anyway, I got a dolphin. <laughs> But he has like a bottle of water. <laughs> He's like in his spare time, he like hosts children's parties mm-hmm. <laughs> at SeaWorld. Um, Supernatural, never seen it. I never was into Supernatural. Um, I'm trying to like look at the most popular. F- There's also Dan and Phil, but I don't want to talk about that at all. I was not into that at all. I remember seeing it on my Tumblr like home page, but yeah. I, I was never. Aren't they real people? Yeah. Yeah, they're so, YouTubers. So I mean, that like kind of feels weird. Oh, for sure. I'm pr- I'm uh, probably like they probably like said like don't make this about us anymore. Yeah. It was a whole, oh my fucking God, that brings me back. Do you remember the British YouTuber explosion? Oh, yeah, 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 with Zoella and stuff. Yes, Zoella and Alfie and all that fan fiction. So much Mm -hmm. sexual fan fiction. Aren't they dating? I don't know if they're engaged yet. They've been together for a long time. I could have sworn they had like a baby or something. Did they? I have not kept up with them. (laughs) I met, what a nostalgic time. I know. I miss all the British YouTubers. It was so pure. There was that one guy from South Africa. Uh, Casper Lee. Yeah, yeah. Whatever so happened fun. to him? Nor ID. Nor. Is that Australian or South of, South of African? Nor ID. All right. I'm going to say tracking the world's biggest fandoms. Minecraft. Jeez. Do you think there's Minecraft fan fiction? Do you think? I mean, what would you write about? Like, blocks? Who's the main guy? <laughs> Kyle? <laughs> Kevin? Mine? Me Googling right now, who's the Minecraft guy? <laughs> A lot of these are like Dungeons and Dragons. I feel like that makes the most sense for fan fiction because isn't it like a fantasy world? Like you're, I mean, yeah. like, uh, these are all fantasy worlds, but this is like where you come up with your own. Yeah, I think usually, well, personally, when I think of fan fiction, I think of me as the reader being inserted into the story. Yeah. But sometimes people just want a continue. It's like when you finish Game of Thrones, when you finish Harry Potter, it's like, I want more. Yeah. And J.K. Rowling didn't provide more, so you have to go find it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's the beautiful thing is you can find things that are very closely related and a continuation of the original plot line. Yeah. Or it's just (laughs) batshit. Just whatever you want. Shrek fucking Legolas in the fucking Sherlock universe. It's like whatever you want. I would love to pay. Like, I wonder, there probably is like a service for this, but like if you went on like Fiverr and like you just finished Game of Thrones and you want them to like finish it the right way you pay someone to finish writing game of thrones and then it's just for you yeah that would actually be pretty cool that slays there's rick and morty is a popular one oh yeah slays do they fuck um are they wait are they related yeah oh grandson grand grandfather taboo (laughs) very taboo in the taboo section on pornhub (laughs) (laughs) it's just all rick and morty (laughs) i love that as a category taboo it's officially from adult swim (laughs) i would love uploaded it (laughs) I would love a miscellaneous category on Pornhub. It's like, what could that mean? <laughs> you don't want to know. You, you do not want to know. Um, Breaking Bad. I never watched that. And then, like, Attack on uh, Call of Duty, Skyrim. These are all just, like, video games. Yeah, I've never heard of, like, uh, <laughs> usually the fan fictions that I see are, like, I don't want to say feminine, but involve romance. Well, I mean, they said that 50% of writers um, for Harry Potter exclusively are yeah. women or feminine yeah. leading. I don't know who's writing like a love story re- re- involving the Call of Duty universe. <laughs> like, I really don't know. <laughs> don't know if that's like a thing. It's like me in my spare time. So all in all, what are your thoughts on fan fiction? Um, I think it sounds kind of fun. I mean, aside from like real people, I think it's totally fine to yeah. like add, you know, my chemical romance to the Harry Potter universe. Yeah. It's not that far fetched. Yeah. <laughs> they do they do magic and they fly around. Yeah, create your own fantasy world. Exactly. Add some Fallout Boy, some uh Good Charlotte. Yeah. Secondhand serenade. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Terrible. <laughs> All right, guys. This has been Violating Community, Community Guidelines, Guidelines with Brittany and Sarah. And we really hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like and subscribe and download on Save on Apple Podcasts. And Spotify and YouTube and... Every place you get places. your podcast. Yes. yes. There we go. 
I love you guys very much. <laughs> if you want us to read more fan fiction, please let us know. Tweet me. <laughs> it's only Brittany. Well, only tweet me, and I will read it in my spare time. <laughs> and then, <laughs> this isn't for any promotional aspect. <laughs> I just want to read more fan fiction. <laughs> this is just for your own personal yeah, gain. <laughs> just like send me Rex. <laughs> <laughs> you have required reading. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for listening. This has been so much fun. 